Hello, today we'll talk about automated code analysis. So what is this? Automated analyzing is the approach when you analyze your code against predefined rules and best practices in an automated way. It means that once you define all rules, the rules that you want your code will look like, and then automatically it will run as often as you want. Benefit of this approach is that it's done, done much faster and uh, much more efficiently compared with the manual checking. So you do not need to waste your time again and again to check how it works. Automatic code analysis. What's important is that software analyzing software. So as I mentioned before, everything what computer can do, it should do. You do not have to waste your own time and uh, it will be much faster and uh, efficiently. Also, it's inexpensive because of it's done automatically without human. It doesn't cost almost anything. Also, this approach helps you to easily detect any duplication of your code and uh, decrease the amount of your code. And uh, you don't need to cover with unit tests the same code twice, for example. Also, it even may execute the software and then you will check how your software works in real life. Automated code analysis can detect uh, different types of issues. For example, it might, it might detect security issues, code duplication, or even bugs. Code analysis can be executed in two ways. It's a static code analysis without running a program. It analyzes your code, uh, how it was written, and can find deep problems with the structure or some uh, already known issues, uh, for example, SQL injection or using some uh, unsafe uh, functions. And another way it's uh, dynamically automated code analysis. In this case, tool can run your code and uh, analyze how it works uh, from a memory and a time perspective. And there is a third one, it's a combination of uh, two previous cases. Uh, talking about dynamic analysis, we can uh, mention that it's uh, program profiling. Program profiling is dynamic analysing when it measures a memory or time complexity of usage your application or different functions. So we can check uh, how your function is efficient or not, how many times it was called and uh, how much time does it take to run and uh, to be finished. Both types of code analysis, it's static and dynamic, they both are uh, forcing you to improve your code and uh, shows what can be improved and what can be changed. And the next, let's uh, talk about one of the most efficient and most popular tool for analyzing code, it's uh, SonarCube. SonarCube is an open source platform and it developed for uh, different languages right now it supports more than 20 different languages and it can analyze uh, the next issues such as bugs code smells and the security vulnerabilities it's the main most interesting parts and in the same time it can analyze your unit test code coverage and uh, styles how it was implemented and a lot a lot of other things. Let's take a look on this picture. So they were found uh, four bugs and 11 vulnerabilities that you can and uh, have to fix. Also they are called smells. It's, um, it found 2.6 uh, thousand called smells and it will take approximately 67 days for one developer to fix all these issues. This tool analyzing your code and can predict this time approximately somehow. And also code coverage. It shows that we have a pretty good code coverage is 90% and we have 18,000 unit tests. So it means that it's a really huge project. Also it can compare you with some period of time. What, do you have some improvements or not? For example, we improved code coverage. This tool, it easily can be integrated in your IDE, integrated development environment, or in, a, or in your continuous integration pipeline using uh, Jenkins or Circle CI. You can use it everywhere where you want. Let's take a look on the next three vulnerabilities it shows. So, code smells. Code smells, it's not an error, it's not a bug, but it's some uh, part of your code that in the future may cause some problems. It may cause error or, to, or it may take additional time for maintenance or fixing the code. For example, it might be very difficult to read an application or um, from a performance perspective, you're using, for example, three, four, five cycles inside and it will take a lot of time for execution. 
this code may work, but uh, in the future it will cause a lot of problems. So usually it would be better to improve it. It can improve your performance or improve your readability, readability of your code. It's a good practice when you try to fix all these code smells and um, try do not continue supporting them and uh, transform into the bugs in the future. Bugs. Bugs is uh, issues in Sonar Cube that shows that your code works wrong. And it shows that your code is likely not giving the intended behavior. So you wanted to implement some one functionality, but it works as not expected because of some issues with uh, another parts of code. So it can uh, find tricky bugs and the bugs, they should be fixed absolutely because of they can uh, create a, a lot of issues and uh, real, real, pro real problems for your software and your company because it may break uh, the whole behavior of the application. And also vulnerabilities. So Sonic Cube helps you to find and track insecurities in your code. There are a lot of different examples you can find or well-known issues. For example, security issues with SQL injection or hard-coded passwords and badly managed errors. Uh, as I mentioned in the first video, some badly managed errors can uh, crash the rocket if it wasn't handled as expected. Also, there is an issue, for example, is with eval function, which can execute uh, unsafe code. So try to avoid such functions or some other functions which are not uh, popular in your language, specifically in your language. And uh, this tool works very good, but it has some limitations. So main limitation is business domain and requirements. This tool checks your code based on the predefined rules, but it doesn't know about your intentions or domain where this software should be run and some specifications. So in this case, a human can check and um, improve result. There is a high divergence in opinion on what is good and what is bad. So from one opinion, it could, the code can work good, from another one it can work bad, so it just shows some metrics. And, um, and uh, as the last part here, it's uh, that metrics, they should be handled somehow and uh, they have some meaning just in case you can uh, observe and uh, do something based on these metrics. Otherwise, it just shows that how your code is organized, is written with some smells or bugs, but if you do not do nothing with it, 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 won't, it will be useless. Sonicube is just one of tools, you can use a lot of different tools specifically for your language or for your environment. For example, ESLint and Preter they are great for JavaScript and can be used there widely. For another language you can find different uh, tools which improve your code as much as you want. So to recap, automated code analysis is a uh, efficient and fast uh, approach which helps you to analyze your code, find some bugs, vulnerability or code smells without um, wasting a lot of your time because it's, it is run in an automated way and uh, as a result it improves your code and uh, decreases the time you, you will spend in the future for maintenance or fixing some bugs in this code. So try to take a look on different tools and find the best for you. Thank you for watching.